Well, hey guys, Steven here with Four Oaks Crafts. In this video, I'm going to be doing an overview of several bolt action pins I recently made for my wood lathe. And later in the video, I'll be telling you how you can win one of these beautiful pins. So join with me and let's get started. The bolt action pin is one of the coolest pins that I've made, and I've made several of these. As the name implies, the pin mechanism right here it resembles the action of a bolt action on a rifle. And this is basically like a click pin. Now these metal parts here, the front part, the back part, as you can see, resemble a rifle cartridge. And these come, you know, with your kit. And of course you turn this part in the middle, uh, which is made out of wood, you turn that part on the lathe. The pin uh, uh, clip itself right here uh, looks like a rifle. And uh, the end here, of course, looks like the end of a rifle shell. Now these pins are very popular, uh, make very popular gifts for hunters, uh, outdoorsmen, gun enthusiasts. You know, if you make these to sell, which I don't, uh, you can usually get anywhere from 50 to $60 on average. It all depends on the type of wood that you use and uh, the version of the bolt action pin that you're selling and the local market. In the next few clips, you'll see me turning a blank uh, for a bolt action pin. I will say this pin is very easy to make, probably one of the easiest pins uh, to make out there. It's a one barrel pin and the bushings on both sides are equal diameter. So you don't have to worry about getting the bushing sizes mixed up or you know mounted wrong on the mandrel. Uh, I like to turn mine with a slightly curved profile. You know, some like to make it more of a flat profile. It's really up to you. I usually finish my pins uh, with a friction polish and I'll put on three coats. I've had great results from this friction, friction polish that I use called Pins Plus, and it holds up very well over time too. Uh, some people like to use a CA glue finish, which is also a great way to finish these pins. In this scene, you can see me assembling the pin with my pin press. So another plus, these pins are very easy to assemble. If you don't have a pin press like I have here, you can use just about any type of vise to do this. So basically all I need to do is press in the front of the pin and the back section of the pin. And it doesn't matter about the orientation because both ends are the same diameter. You simply unscrew the tip of the pin to insert the ink refill. You can get these ink refills at several local office supply stores. The bolt on the pin mechanism can be oriented in different directions. Some people like to move the bolt into another direction. Uh, so to do that, you simply loosen the screw in the pin mechanism section uh, using a small screwdriver. When you do that, you can rotate that bolt 90 degrees and then make sure you tighten the screw back up before you press the uh, mechanism onto the pin barrel. Okay, here I wanted you to see that there are several, several different versions of this bolt action pin, and I am not even, uh, you know, showing you probably a fraction of them, but these are the four that I just recently made uh, this past week. You can see these two uh, here on the end have a patriotic theme, and these pins uh, come with, uh, you know, several different uh, themes and uh, platings, this first one right here, of course, you got the flag and the uh, stars, and it's made from a ceramic uh, plating. Uh, this one is an antique pewter. This is a gunmetal plating, and the antler pin here is also an antique pewter uh, plating. Uh, as you can see, the pin clips are different depending on the theme of the uh, pin. Uh, the different woods. This wood right here is a rosewood. This is a zebra wood, which is an exotic wood. Uh, this wood is bacote. And then this, of course, is elk antler. So again, there's several different versions of the bolt action pin. I just wanted to show you 
uh, four of the ones that I recently made. Now let's talk about the giveaway. So to say thanks to my followers, I'd like to do a giveaway. I mean, it's been a while, you know, since I've done one of these. So for this giveaway, I'm going to be giving away the antler pin shown in the video. Please read the contest rules below, you know, in the description field to learn how to enter the giveaway. The giveaway begins 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on February 26, 2022. And it ends at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on March 5th, 2022. So read the rules below to learn all the details. If you want to learn more about how to make pins on the lathe, if this has piqued your interest in any way, uh, this is a great hobby. Uh, I would encourage you to check out my Pin Turning 101 playlist. Well, I wish all of you the best of luck and thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.